This is photographer Thomas Gunnarsson in Stories from Sweden. As a teenager, I was maybe a little bit, bit of a provocateur doing school presentations dressed as a woman. I uh, don't really know why, but somehow I thought that was so fun. Thomas drives his car on the way to an assignment. He's going to Gävle, a two-hour drive north of the Swedish capital Stockholm. In Sweden, Thomas is known to many as the gender photographer. I studied journalism at the university. And uh, while I was still studying, I started to work for different magazines, entertainment magazines, video games magazines, technology magazines. And in the staff of these magazines, there were only men. But me also, I stumbled into all, all the kinds of gender cliches I now criticize. Many photographers, I think, want to create a, an image that looks right. For people like, yes, great lighting, classical Rolex guy, classical images of classic masculinity and femininity. Great. But I think that's so boring. Thomas has arrived in Gävle. Mm? Indoors, he photographs Johan Adolfsson, who is head of communications in Gävle County. Johan is dressed in a suit. At one point, Johan poses on a couch, lying on his back with his bare feet on the back of the couch. Thomas instructs Johan. Thomas, how does it feel to be photographed like this? Johan, this feels more natural, strangely enough. I think there's probably more wake-up calls than one for me, but when I was uh, 25 I worked for a tech magazine and went to the biggest technology mess in, uh, in the world, CS, in Las Vegas, and uh, noticed women in my age with uh, leather hot pants standing and demonstrating gadgets in front of uh, older male journalists drooling over them. And I was one of the journalists. <laughs> Thomas and Johan are seated at a table. Thomas shows Johan a montage of portrait photos that he considers stereotypically masculine and feminine. I saw a, a, a void to be filled with this profession. A photographer that questions uh, how we portray men and women different. Thomas and Johan move to another indoor locale. Once there, Thomas sets up his gear. They begin shooting. Johan once again poses on a couch, lying on his back. Here in Sweden, when I give lectures, most of the people in the room are happy and horrified in the same time. Happy that you can see all these patterns, these ridiculous pictures of uh, female CEOs lying upside down in couches and uh, men posing without kids on daddy's magazines. And then there's someone in the room always who says that should we really analyze this much? Aren't you overanalyzing now? Johan is posing standing up. He makes quirky facial expressions, encouraged by Thomas, who keeps snapping with his camera. Uh, but I don't think they have heard the arguments, really. Because does anyone want to take away possibilities from another human being? To say to a boy who wants to make pearl necklaces that you can't do that. Go out and fight with your bodies. So I think it's more important than ever, really, to uh, stand your ground and uh, talk about why it's important to not limit each other, not typecasting each other, reminding us that we can be whatever we want to be, resist reducing people into stereotypes. Known as the gender photographer, Thomas uses images to expose stereotypes of how we portray women and men. 
He hopes to contribute to a society where it's up to the individual to define what's masculine and feminine, not obsolete norms. This film about Thomas Gunnarsson was shot in 2018. It is brought to you by Sweden's official YouTube channel. It is an episode in the channel's documentary series, Stories from Sweden.